This is Mission Control Houston, 34 days, 15 hours, and 52 minutes into the 36th expedition to the International Space Station. Space Station flying in good shape right now, about 258 miles above the Atlantic Ocean, headed for the west coast of Africa. The crew on board, busy with a variety of activities. Commander Pavel Vinogradov is doing maintenance on the intermodular communications system, while his two Russian colleagues, Alexander Mazurkin and Fyodor Yurchikin, are studying work zones where they'll be engaged during the spacewalk that they're going to conduct next Monday. We'll talk more about that later in this hour. Flight engineers Karen Nyberg and Luca Parmitano are involved in a conference with the researchers on the spinal ultrasound experiment that they're going to be doing this week. While Chris Cassidy is preparing for the surface telerobotics operations that are going to get started in just a few minutes. It's Monday, June 17th, and the International Space Station crew has been busy with its newest arrival, uh, Albert Einstein. The European Space Agency's fourth automated transfer vehicle arrived at the aft end of the uh, station this past Saturday morning. The ATV-4 was launched from the French Guiana Launch Complex on June 5th, and the docking was completed with no issues this past Saturday at 9.07 a.m. Central Time. Today, Commander Pavel Vinogradov and Flight Engineer Luca Parmitano completed leak checks. The planned hatch opening has been postponed, while mission managers discuss whether the crew needs to disinfect three cargo bags that are suspected of carrying either mold or bacteria, both of which pose no risk to the crew. Once it's complete, the uh, hatch opening, that is, either uh, tomorrow or later, the crew will get busy unloading 7.3 tons of cargo, including science experiments, hardware, propellant, water, and air. Flight engineers Alexander Mazurkin and Fyodor Yurchikin focus their attentions on preparation for a spacewalk one week from today. During that trip outside, they'll work on Zarya, replacing a fluid flow control valve panel and installing clamps, which will later hold cables bringing power from the U.S. segment of the space station to the new Russian laboratory that is targeted to arrive at the International Space Station late this year. Today, Mazurkin and Yurchikin studied the work areas by line of sight out of the station windows and virtually through uh, graphics in an onboard computer training program. Flight engineer Karen Nyberg began her day with maintenance on the ventilation systems before joining Parmitano to talk with the principal investigator of the spinal ultrasound experiment that they'll be doing this week. Uh, In-flight readings of crew members' spine will be studied along with pre-flight and post-flight data to assess the health risk resulting from changes to the spine that occur in a microgravity environment. Flight engineer Chris Cassidy concentrated on preparing for the surface telerobotics investigation operations and the first ever test of how well a crew member on orbit can remotely control a robot on the surface of a planet, a moon, or an asteroid. Uh, after talking with the investigators, Cassidy is scheduled to work through a scripted series of commands to a rover at NASA's Ames Research Center in California. The task that they are simulating is deployment of a telescope on the far side of the moon. The full crew looking forward to the opening of hatches on the automated transfer vehicle and getting started with cargo transfers, plus a variety of laboratory science that's on the agenda this week, plus the continuing preparations for next week's spacewalk outside the Russian segment of the station.